Good work, Peter. I'd call that a mild success. I'd call that unbelievable. Do you need some help? Yes. Doctor, what's going on? It's become that obvious. My doctors call it a degenerative neurological disorder. Probably caused by overexposure to toxic chemicals in my reckless youth. Sorry, is, is, is there anything I can do? You already are. The worst part is, it only affects the muscles. The mind continues to work, but... it can no longer do. You're the only one who knows, Peter. I'd like to keep it that way. Of course. Uh, if you'd like to seek a position with more of a future... I, I came here to work for you because of what you've got up here. And that's not going anywhere. So neither am I. Oh, Peter, before I forget, I read the most fascinating article. Outlines possible next steps for the neural interface. I'll take a look. Thanks, Doc. Doc loves these things. He used them in grad school when he had to manipulate radioactive isotopes. Says seeing them keeps him humble. What is this, Doc? Never seen this type of material. Would you believe it's for welding? Provides remarkable magnetic insulation, and limits cross-contamination between the neural interface and arms. Direct interface with the basal ganglia. Exciting, but risky. I don't know, Doc. You'll need a gallium silk array to make it work. Even then, odds of injury are pretty high. Gallium! Genius! Never mind the risks. We'll work them out in time. Today's the day. Grant review. We're ready. Hmm, what was Doc working on with this? Beautiful.
Looks like another potential prosthetic contact material. Doc's messing around with superconductors. Doc's really sick. At this rate, he'll lose control of his motor functions within a year. And if we're not careful, an intracranial implant could make things even worse. Even alter his personality. We need to proceed carefully. Hmm. Um, Doc, I'm sorry. My... Aunt just texted. No worries, Peter. I was thinking of taking a break myself. As soon as I check our telemetry data. Thanks. I'll be back in a few hours. Hi, May. Let me guess. Running late? Nope, I'm actually on my way now. Have you heard from Miles? No, but his mother said he was coming, so... Good. I'll be there soon. Bye. my problems with Sable International. But when they're fighting demons, we're on the, a couple more cool outfits and we can start a pro wrestling league. <laughs> Just once I'd love for the guys pulling up to be pizza delivery instead of more demons. Sables 
city's turning into a war zone. Situation. Next time, let us handle. Sorry, guys. Kind of got a see something, do something code. Keep fighting the good fight. What are you doing here? Whoa, we got a fighter. You just made your last mistake, punk. What the? Does it seriously take this many guys to rob a teenager? You're Spider-Man. You're the amazing Spider-Man. You're the spectacular Spider-Man. And a few other choice adjectives Jameson uses. Look, that was really brave. But next time, leave the fighting to the pros, okay? Uh, okay, but what if there aren't any around? Well, you can't just go swinging at someone twice your size. I mean, don't get me wrong. I fight guys stronger than me all the time, but when I do it, I have... Oh, like that time you fought Rhino on the Brooklyn Bridge? That was so awesome. Perfect example. If the other guy's bigger, you gotta be quicker. Okay? Okay, but that's it's easy for you to say. I, sorry, I just can't do what you do. All right, put him up. Seriously? Yeah, come on. First thing, don't let the adrenaline get to you. Breathe slow, breathe deep, relax. Hip square to your opponent. Let them make the first move. Now use your feet, and when they go off balance, look for an opening. Boom. Like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Not only this time, just let me have it. Right on the jock. Okay? I can hit. <clears throat> oh, sh... S sorry No, no. No. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> you keep that up, and uh, you'll be fine. All right. Lesson's over. Gotta go. Hey, uh... Thanks. You know... Anytime. I just punched Spider-Man. Shelter should be just ahead. Yo, Miles, what's up? Bro, you're not gonna believe this. I just met Spider-Man. What? That's crazy. Hey, did you show him our hacking app? Oh, man. I totally forgot. Oh, you suck. He totally would have bought it off you, and then we'd be, like, famous. Yeah, I'll show him next time. I, I gotta go. I promised my mom I wouldn't be late. Right, cool. Later. Keep moving. Keep moving. Man, I hope they're okay. Already late. I better get to the shelter. Farmer's market. I can cut through there. Come on, no pictures. Keep moving. When you say it like that, how would you say it? Uh oh. Everyone have their IDs out and ready for inspection. You gotta be kidding me. It's gonna take forever. That drone wasn't watching. I could jump the fence. Do you know anyone by the name of Martin Lee? Have you seen him? No. Wow! That was too easy! I can't believe Sable systems are unsecured. Maybe I'll send an anonymous tip. 
Think I'll stay clear of those guys. Under the gate on the left, or over the scaffolding to the right. You're live. We have footage. Come on, man. I just gotta go home. I have the authority okay. to arrest the detective. Okay. Stay calm. I gotta distract him. No, I'm not. Well, okay, my faithful listeners. Go. I've been getting a lot of calls about this Sable International outfit that's assisting police with the search for suspects in the city hall box. I've got Ken on line three with his thoughts. Ken, you're on with J. Joan Jensen. First of all, I just want to say it's an honor to be on your show. Thank you, Ken. You just earned yourself a copy of mine. J. Joan Jensen always right. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I already have one. Oh, hey, Mom. Hi, honey. Did you make it to the feast shelter okay? Uh, yeah, almost there. Miles, you don't have to work at that shelter, you know. You said I did. No, I gave you a choice. Yeah, and I chose this over more therapy. I mean, it was helpful. The guy said everyone grieves in their own way. This is mine. Okay, sorry. Mom. Yeah? Just because I don't want to talk about it doesn't mean I don't love you. Oh, honey, I love you so much. We'll get through this, okay? I gotta go. I'll call you on my way home. Hey, hey, Miles. Pete. Hey, um, sorry I'm late, man. Oh, no, no, I'm just glad you're here. All right, so, um, what can I do to help? Why don't you start just by, uh, getting comfortable with the place. Uh, meet a few people. You know what? Everybody loves coffee. Coffee? All right. And I'll be back in a little while to check on you. Is that cool? Yeah. Oh, don't worry about Mr. Hodges. He doesn't bite. Much. You sure? Coffee? Thanks. Need help? Not unless you know what the hell a quark is. It's a subatomic particle. You know, the building block of protons, neutrons, hadrons? Subatomic? It fits. Good one, kid. Piece of junk. The oh, hell? Damn hunk of junk. Uh, you mind if I take a look? Eh? Oh, we have a couple of CRTs at school. I know how to fix these when CR what, what? No, no, you just gotta smack it. Up time. Get it. Go! Or, could be a loose coax cable. 
All right, all right. Be my guest, huh, Mr. Smarty Pants? Hey, please, go ahead. Tributes continue to pour in for Officer Jefferson Davis, the hero killed in the City Hall bombing, as reports emerge that he used his own body to shield others in his last moments of life. Hey, hey new kid. I'm empty here. Rio and son Miles, as well as brother Aaron. In addition to the hero. Man didn't do nothing heroic except get himself blown up. Hey, Ernie. I see you've met Miles. He's gonna be helping out around here. You may have heard of his father, Jefferson Davis. Pretty great that even though he's got a lot of stuff going on right now, he decided to come and volunteer. Don't you think? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, thanks. Uh, listen, Cat, I'm, I'm... Sorry about your dad. Come on, Miles. Let's see if Ant-Man needs a hand in the kitchen. Hey, May. I gotta take off, but, uh... Brought some help for you. Hi, Miles. Nice to see you. Well, grab an apron, wash your hands, and I'll show you around. Hey, hey Peter. Um, thanks for that back there. Of course. Almost noon. Sable should be moving Dr. Michaels. Better get to the Bowery and locate him. I'm afraid our computers are a bit outdated. Oh, that's cool. I might be able to improve their performance for you. Really? Hey, Yuri, I'm heading to the Bowery to make sure Michaels gets to his new safe house. Breath? It's called GR-27, not... <sighs> Just be careful. In the wrong hands, this could... Don't worry. We're the best in the world. <sighs> I feel better already. Code 381. Package is on the move. This way, Dr. Michaels. What the hell is that? Welcome aboard, Doctor. Get off me! We got this! Yeah, sure you do.
Yuri, I'm in pursuit of Martin Lee. I think he's got Dr. Michaels and the Devil's Breath. Copy that. More units coming your way. He took Michaels alive, so that's good. Probably so we can force him to make more Devil's Breath. I have to stop that truck. Tank, whatever. Clear the guys in the trucks before I go after Lee. Keep shooting! Hey, stop shooting! and he will destroy all sinners! Sorry! Lee, hand it over! hoping to bring you here. My abilities lend me a certain persuasiveness. I've been watching you. I was waiting for you at City Hall. You never came. Where were you? Is this real or in my mind? It was a shame so many had to die with no heroes to save them. That officer saved your life, didn't he? He was here because of you. gesture in the end. And where was Norman during all this? Slinking away like a rat. He knew what was going to happen, and he fled. Norman is a hidden cancer on this city. He must be excised with no trace of his corruption to return. Norman hides behind his mask of lies. I will break it apart and drag him into the light. Put on the mask. Become one of us. No thanks! One way or the other, you will join me! Uh-oh. All the souls you've lost! The innocent victims you couldn't save! Martin, their blood is on your hands! You can stop Oswald. You have so much strength. I can give you will. 
Okay. Did they take it? Yes. How worried should I be? Very. You're a popular guy. Where is the serum? I'm gone. That is Goya. So-called superhero. You think you save people, but you just make it worse. This is your fault. My fault? He was under your protection. Do you really need two of those? <laughs> Stop! We need to brief Mr. Osborne now. I'll go with her. Thank you. I'll remember this. I'm flying pretty close to blind.
Ought to look for towers to activate. Yuri, tell me you've got a lead on Martin Lee's location. We have footage from a guy at a coffee shop. Looks like... He hopped into a black sedan after the crash. Black sedan, great. Let me finish. We have a partial plate. And one of my patrol guys just found a matching plate. Black sedan in a parking lot near Canal and Hudson. You're a good cop, Yuri. I'm on my way. Spider-Man. Hello? Is this working? Dr. Michaels? How are you calling? Borrowed on one of Sable's radios. Listen. Transit hubs are the most likely release points for Devil's Breath. Airports, bus terminals, train stations. It'll spread like wildfire from there. Why the hell is Oscorp developing a bioweapon in the city? Shouldn't this be in an Arctic bunker? Devil's Breath is personal for Norman. It's been his obsession for decades. The project breaks every state and federal regulation on the books, but he doesn't care. If the city finds out, he can kiss re-election goodbye. Never mind re-election. He'd be tried in The Hague for war crimes. Why are you telling me all this? Aren't you just as culpable as Norman? Yes. Completely. But Lee's actions have been a wake-up call. We've ignored the project's risk for too long. I trust you, Spider-Man. You're the only one trying to do the right thing. Please, protect the city. From our mistakes. Devil's breath is gone. I should call MJ and Warner. This is Mary Jane Watson. Please leave a detailed message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. What are you up to now, MJ? Standish said the demons are looking for something at GCT. But what could they possibly need here? Should probably call Peter and let him know what I'm doing. Actually, scratch that. He'd Our probably just tell me to go home and chain myself to my laptop. I'll just check things out quick and let him know what I found. Casualties on the battlefield by over 94%. Huh. Tickets can be purchased at Oscorp's research and development team are hard at work on a radical new form of battery that recharges itself from sound waves. In a few short months, you will be able to buy a phone that will never have to be plugged in. Hmm. Cool. Please make certain that children are supervised at all times. This Gaia microbe dispersal device releases specially formulated microbes into the atmosphere and in turn leaves our oceans and rivers cleaner than when man first walked the earth. Mr. Lee. This will be easier for everyone if you remain calm and do as I say. Police! Over here!
Mayor Osborne's office. I would like to speak to Mayor Osborne. Who's calling? The man he is looking for. What do you want? I want you at Grand Central Terminal in 30 minutes. By yourself. Or there'll be more blood on your hands. MJ, I'm on my way. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Just hurry. Going as fast as I can. What are you doing at GCT? I'll explain later. Listen, Lee's going to release the Devil's Breath. You've got to get out of there. He's not going to do it until Norman Osborne gets here. Wait, this must have been Lee's plan all along. Make Norman responsible by forcing him to release the Devil's Breath himself. Sort of makes sense, in a twisted, psychotic way. Okay, I'm here. Coming into the terminal now. Anything I should be on the lookout for? Looks like he's got some drones patrolling. Guess he's prepared for you. Don't worry, I'm in the ventilation system. Can you see a safe exit point? Why don't they just take our money and leave? Southwest corner. On my way. If I get any closer, the drones will spot me. See that tablet I'm looking at? That controls the drones. Think you can snag it? Yes, if you can distract them and not get shot. I'm ready. Tell me when. I'm ready. Incoming. Brigando! Wait! MJ, what are you doing? Let's all just relax. Listen, I'm a reporter. I have a direct line to Mayor Osborne. I can help make sure he arrives on time. How? First, let him go. Good job. Now let's get you out of here. What about the Devil's Breath? I'll come back for it. No. We're partners, remember? Can we argue later? If we don't help those people, they could die. So could you. I can't let that happen. No. No, I got myself into this. I'm getting myself out. What do you mean you got yourself into this? I don't like this. There's too many of them. Then let's start taking them out. Quietly. You're still too close. That did it. Grab him. Hmm. 
Now. See if you can break up that group. I'm gonna try and separate them. Not exactly. What do you mean? I thought something might happen, but not like this. Why didn't you tell me? I thought we were partners. Hey, partners trust each other, Peter. What do you mean? I trust you? Yeah, when I'm sitting at home behind a laptop. Oh, come on. Can we please get back to saving the city here? Negajitsa Start the timer. Now's your chance. Keep him busy. I'll take care of the devil's breath. You know what you're doing? No. That's never stopped me before. Two blue ones, one yellow and one red. Look for the source of the wires. They should be- Oh, okay. <sighs> Looks like the blue is connected to the battery, and yellow to a fan. Red one has a little exclamation mark. Okay, you'll want to detach the wires from the battery first. Trace the wires to the other end and unplug them from there. Okay, unplug the wires from the battery. Blue is connected to the battery, 
and yellow to a fan. Red one has a little exclamation mark. Okay, you'll want to detach the wires from the battery. Okay, pull the first wire. Now the second one. What? The timer just changed to 30 seconds. Ah, it's a collapsing circuit. What comes next? The fan? Yes, then the last wire. But you have to hurry. Okay, now the red one. Got it. You did it? Wow. Yeah. Now let's get these people out of here. I could use a little Spidey help. You ready? Right. I'll clear a path. Try to do it quietly. Will do. Next time. Gotta be careful or the hostages will get hurt. Sleep it off. Okay, MJ, time to go. Copy that. Everyone, follow me! MJ, did you make it out? Yeah, everyone's safe. Good job. Hey, Peter. Yeah? When you're done in there, we should talk. Yeah, we should. First, find me and kick his ass. I feel bad for anyone who's on the wrong side of MJ. Wonder what side I'm on right now. Okay, guys, trivia time. Did you know Grand Central has the largest basement in New York City? <laughs> Crazy, right? You could fit half the Brooklyn Bridge down there. Ha, huh, I agree. They sure don't make them like they used to. That's old school New York gumption for you. Anyway, I could talk trivia all day, but... I gotta stop your wingnut of a boss from destroying the city. Time to wrap this up. <laughs> Lee's escape plan is to use the train. Can't let him get away. Train platform is open. That must be where Lee is. Police getting away. Finally. Sorry I'm late. It's kind of my thing.
are you doing this? Paying off an old debt. Better keep my distance for now. That didn't work. Better wait for an opening. Time to get close and finish this. He's getting tired. Now's my chance. Down. You're sick. Let me help you, Mark. 